Hi, my name is Teresa Cooper and I'm a breast cancer survivor. And today I'm gonna to be trying on a Raquel Welsh synthetic wig and kind of giving you my thoughts and reviews on it. So I'm gonna try on the Raquel Welsh downtime wig, which is this one right here. It looks amazing. It already looks like it's real hair. It's bouncy, it's super soft. Um, I love that it has a lace front. Um, so it shows you right here. Kind of makes the part line look a little bit more natural when it has a lace front. And this wig is actually 100% hand tied as well. So I'm gonna try this on here and see kind of what it looks like and what I think. I am gonna wear a wig cap just because my hair has started to come in since finishing chemo. It's a little bit short. So I'm gonna just put the wig cap on just to kind of keep those hairs uh, a little bit more secure. So just like this. The wig caps do come with all the wigs from wigs.com. Just tuck in your little hairs. I kind of like having the wig cap as well, just because if you are gonna be wearing the wig all day long or to work or to functions, um, it helps so that it's not so itchy. And it kind of just sits a little bit better when you do have the wig cap on. So now I'm gonna put the wig on. I know some people like to throw their wigs upside down and put their head into it, but for me personally, I like putting it on this way <laughs> and then I can adjust it after. So I pull the front of the wig kind of all the way down across my forehead and keep my thumbs into it. And then I pull the back part of the wig down to the bottom of my head secure and then I can kind of pull the front to where I feel like it should sit for like a more natural part line look so you can see here that lace front looks like a real part and then I just want to kind of adjust it adjust it on the sides if you wanted you could even take a bobby pin and just clip this part in and then it kind of attaches itself to the wig cap, which is also another reason why I like wearing a wig cap. But let's just see how this looks. I like this. It definitely looks natural. I love the color. It's an R6 color, which is a rich medium dark brown, which is kind of what my hair was before. This makes me miss my actual long brown hair. So it does feel really, really soft. It feels natural. Because it's a synthetic wig, you can't put heat on it, um, but actually it will last a little bit longer just because it's easier to care for. So let's see what it looks like on the side, the back. I love how the curls are just bouncy. It has a lot of volume. It does feel really good on my head. Um, I feel like I could move my head around and the wig's not gonna fall off. So it's snug and secure, but it's not tight to the point where it's not gonna give me a headache or you know, some wigs will dig into your head in certain pieces. This doesn't feel like that. This feels really nice, really comfortable. Like I could go out on a windy day and it wouldn't fall off my head. <laughs> so I really like that. Um, I am wearing an average cap size. I think the majority of people would fit into an average cap size. I love this. You can kind of wear your hair on the side. I would definitely go out in this. I would wear it to work. I would wear it to events. I feel like it does look natural. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a wig. I like this. Let's see. You could even put it in like a cute little braid on the side. Yeah. It feels full. I'm playing around with it quite a bit with my hands just to see if it gets tangled, but it's not. It definitely feels real. So I really, really like that because it's really hard to find a synthetic wig that is soft and feels like real hair, but this one does. Mm, I love it. Raquel Welsh, you did it again. <laughs> so this is the Downtime Wig by Raquel Welsh. Get it at wigs.com. 
Yeah. I love it.